Is it on? Yeah. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. My laptop up. Tanner Mo wrote to me, take us with you on a skydiving tutorial. Or if you don't want to plummet to the earth, do a taste test comparison of french fries from competing brands. I'm not going skydiving today. I'm not gonna jump out of a plane. But I am gonna taste test every single popular fast food brand's french fries. I know a lot of other YouTubers have tasted a bunch of french fries, but as Bad Baby says, they don't do it like me. I'm just like Bad Baby. And trust me, I'm a fast food fan. I know everything about fast food. I have spent my life studying fast food. So yeah, you're gonna be getting an official fast food fry ranking from America's number one fast food critic, Lucas Crookshank. So I just got back from going to the top nine fast food places. Can I, get you today? Can I just have a fry? Just one? I mean, just one thing of fries. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, not just a single fry. <laughs> <laughs> At Popeyes, they joke around. Okay, you guys, this is the last addition to my Uber Eats bag. It's really steamy in there. Ew! It's literally dripping from the ceiling because there's so much steam. Okay, I'm gonna close it. <laughs> okay, time to eat all these. My car smells like a grease factory. <laughs> Those other YouTubers who did this, I bet you... Uh, what the? I bet you they went to the fast food places and let the fries sit in the back seat and get cold. Well, you're not gonna be able to give an accurate tasting then. Other YouTubers, what are you doing? So I went to Amazon and I spent $40 on this food delivery bag. I spent the big bucks to get this bag because for the Chan Chan, I'm not gonna do this half ass. Are you kidding? This is serious. Are you kidding? We're taking this seriously. Okay, so let's open up this steaming bag. <gasps> you guys, it is moist in here. <gasps> Jacob, put your hand in. It feels like a sauna. Oh, that's gross. It is a sweaty gym sauna at a local YMCA, but with grease. Instead of greasy bodies, it's greasy fries. Okay, well, we really, we really spent the money today. Money wasn't an object today. We all have those days where we spend the money and don't look back. Today was one of those days for me. Ew, it's wet! Why are the walls in here wet? Disgusting! I don't know if the camera can see, but look at that drip. When rappers say like, look at my drip, like that's the drip I'm talking about. Oh, if you put your face in here, you for sure would get so much acne. Mm. It smells like a carnival. Smell it. Oh yeah, it just smells like a bunch of fried Oreos and yeah. fried funnel cakes. Ah, oh, so much grease, so little time. Let's get to it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta cleanse the palate. Got some LaCroix in my mouth just to neutralize the zone. Okay, well we got all of the bags here. We've secured the bags. <laughs> That's what the kids say these days, right? So yeah, we got just so many different places. I don't even know where to begin. Wow. Look at that front of the bag. <gasps> oh, look at that grease. Do you like when a fast food bag has grease or are you more of like an anti-greaser? Um, I mean, it probably tastes better, but it grosses me out yeah, when I like, see it. I want the food to be greasy, but I don't want the bag to be greasy. But then again, like a little grease never hurt anyone. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. Anyway, should I just start down the line or what? Work my way across or? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's non-bias or anything. Yeah, Jacob's actually filming this right now, and if you've seen his channel, he's kind of the king of ranking food items, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that I had him here to like, kind of make sure everything's right with this genre of YouTube. Cause he's kind of like, the ruler of that part of YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna start with Sonic. Um, I don't really have any expectations for this, because I'm not really a Sonic boy. But these look nice, these literally just look like McDonald's fries. But yeah, Sonic, I do like the aesthetic of Sonic. I like how you go there and like, you can pull up in your own little space and apparently back in the day they had rollerblading girls, I think. Like just some chicks on rollerblades, which we always like. But I never had their fries, at least that I can remember, so let's just give it a good thing. Um, I personally like soggy fries, so these are looking good to me. I don't like crunchy fries. What's your opinion, Jacob, on that? 
If it's too crunchy, it's kind of gross. I know, some people don't like soggy fries, but. I love when McDonald's fries are soggy. I know, people don't get it. People don't understand. Mmm. Okay. There are some flavors I wasn't expecting. Yeah, it's good. It's sort of like McDonald's, but not as good, is what I would say. Don't get me wrong, like, I love it. But I don't think it's gonna be high in the Chan Chan ranking. And I know there's some Sonic fans out there who are really mad. Don't worry. We don't have to let this come between us, but yeah, I'm gonna put this on the, the not that good side. This is the not that good side, but hashtag this is how we Sonic. <laughs> who even thinks about Sonic fries when you get down to it? I know, like no one ever talks about them, which now I understand why nobody does. Pretty mediocre. They've been eliminated from this competition. Do you want to try one to see if you like it? I actually like those. They're like soggy McDonald's fries. I know, I, they're like McDonald's, but not as good, you know? Okay, next up is Dairy Queen. When you think of Dairy Queen, you think of ice cream, blizzards, chili cheese dog down your throat. But do you ever think of fries? No, but maybe I still have something to offer. The lady who served me at Dairy Queen, she had a mask on, but it was kind of just a headband around her mouth. That's nothing to do with the fries though. It's not gonna let that affect my opinion. I do like the packaging. You don't really see this that often. Usually it's in a more tall thing, but this, they went with the more short and wide packaging, which you know, it's a choice. I like the colors. And and french fries are a blizzard treat's best friend. Hashtag happy tastes good. Mmm. Thick. Okay. I'm taking in all the notes. I'm just like really gonna let it like absorb into me. I have to say I'm shocked. These really bring something to the table that I wasn't expecting. I thought, you know, there'd just be some basic fry, nothing really to care about. And they are that, but I like it. Oh. She smelled the fries. They have a lot of seasoning, which I like. So soggy. These are gonna go in like the more winning pile. Okay, Dairy Queen, we see you. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> Gotta cleanse my palate. Do you wanna give your quick review? I don't like those as much as Sonic. <gasps> oh my God, so far we're in a fight about all this. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, next up we got good old Wendy's, everyone's favorite ginger girl. Little redhead running around with pigtails. These look a lot different. Are they a different color? Yeah. They're a little bit more white than the previous ones. Basic packaging, which, you know, you can't go wrong. Just some simplistic packaging. Why is there no flavor? I don't know if it's just a mistake with the particular one I went to, but it don't really have that much flavor. And I'm mad. You would think a girl with red hair who always wears it in pigtails would be able to put some seasoning on fries, but <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, let me just make sure I'm not reading this wrong. Something's definitely not there that's supposed to be there. It's like when you hang out with someone you haven't seen in a while and just something's a little bit off. Like what happened? I can't pinpoint it, but something's off and I'm gonna cut you out of my life. That's how I feel about these. So unfortunately, they're up for elimination. Right next to Sonic, pack your bags because you might be going home. I have two photos in front of me and three girls. One of you guys is going home. But the only thing is that like, these are like actual potatoes. I know, they look natural. Maybe I don't like natural food. See? Oh wait, those not good. I know, I told you. But the thing is, I remember Wendy's fries being good when I've had them in the past. Yeah, okay, so last time I had Wendy fries, they was delicious. But we aren't judging last time. We're judging today's work, and it flopped hard. You're only as good as your last set of fries, Wendy's, and it wasn't good, so you're eliminated. <laughs> Okay, KFC. This packaging, we haven't seen this before. Usually they have an open top. This packaging is more of a hamburger style, which I don't really like because it feels like KFC might just be trying to save money and to cut corners, they're using the same burger packaging for fries. KFC, do better. Just kidding, but this isn't about the packaging. You guys to make fun of the man. Colonel Effing Mustards. Is that his name? Yeah, Colonel Mustard. Wait, what's the guy's oh, name wait. on Clue though? No. That's the Clue guy. No, he isn't Colonel Mustard. Who is he? Colonel Sam. Sanders. Yeah. I don't know why they show this guy because we've all seen the Lifetime movie of the KFC movie and Colonel Sanders is actually Mario Lopez. Wait, for real? Yeah. He played hot Colonel Sanders. I had no idea about that. It was. It was good. These smell good. I kind of like these types of fries. I like they're so crusty, you know? It just looks like it isn't fries though. So like if I saw this, I would guess it's like calamari or chicken fingers. Oh, calamari trying to like flex. Like, yes, I eat squid. <laughs> but these types of fries, they don't really remind me of fast food fries. It is cool that KFC has these types of fries because it lets us know they're not like the other girls. It lets them stand out a little bit more in the lineup. And sometimes you do need to bring something unique to the forefront. I think KFC did. These look very unique. So many crusty all over. Just crusty crust crust. Now it's time to taste them. 
Whoa! Oh my god. Feels like when the drugs hit. <laughs> I don't even do drugs, but... Oh my god! Should I leave and just set the camera down for a little bit? You might have, I don't, this is a sensual experience. It's not really sensual, it's more of a spiritual experience. It might come off as sensual, but it's like religious. These are good. These might be it. We might have already found the winner. Should I throw away the rest? <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> obviously we're gonna try them, but this is so good. We might have been sleeping on KFC. Colonel Sanders, Mario Lopez, your restaurant's good. Try them. You just know these are the type of fries that would be so good with cheese. Mmm, yeah, those are just so salty. I know. Bloated. So salty. Like your mouth is so dry after eating one because there's so much salt in the best way. Obviously, these are in the winner's circle. They're one step closer to the crown, but I don't know if they have their crown yet. We aren't gonna jump to any conclusions. I had to get another drink after that one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next up, we got Chick-fil-A. Homophobic fries. Yeah, these are the homophobic fries, but they're the type of homophobic fries that, yes, they're problematic, but they do taste good. It's like <laughs> um, that like aunt that's like, oh, I'm so religious, but I still love you. Oh yeah, it's like <laughs> that family member who's like, I don't respect your lifestyle of being gay, but I love you. Like, we're still family, but I, you're gonna go to hell. But you still see them, you know? That's sort of how Chick-fil-A is. Their fries, I've had them before, obviously. They're very good. I do like how they're a waffle shape. Um, They sort of went down the KFC route where they were like, listen, French fries are all over every fast food establishment. What can we do to stand out besides hating gay people? That already sets them apart. Also, they were like, let's do a waffle shape. Which by the way, why do they call this a waffle? This doesn't really look like a waffle, or I guess kind of, but. Hey, what I wondered about waffle fries, when they make those is so much potato wasted. Wait, where did, look at this. All of those holes, are those little bits of potatoes just being thrown in the trash? Did we just start a movement? Where are the holes from the potatoes going, Chick-fil-A? They aren't just going in the trash, right? Cause if they are, you're canceled. I feel so bad for Luna. She can't have any though. She already has so many health problems. So I cannot be feeding you fries. But at least she gets to watch. She hasn't watched YouTube, so I'm sort of like her one mukbang YouTuber that she watches. Are you having fun with this mukbang? I really like Chick-fil-A's fries, but let's see how they are compared to KFC. I've never had a bare Chick-fil-A fry. I never have had one raw. Like usually it's always dipped into some sort of sauce. But having it raw, raw dogging it, it doesn't hit. Like this whole time, have I thought that I liked Chick-fil-A fries, but really I like Chick-fil-A sauce? It's like if you're married to someone and you're like, do I even like them? Or do I like that they drive a Kia Soul? Like you don't ever really know. And I think I might've just figured this out. I don't know if I like Chick-fil-A fries. It might've been the sauce this whole time. You learn something new every day. Try one. It's weird because I am like proud of this movement that you're on right now, because I feel like, like it's only good when you're eating the chicken sandwich. I know. Yeah, it's so boring and stale. Ew! Get it away. You're with the losers. Losers. You all suck and you're ugly. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's all about the sauce. If your fry can't stand its ground without some sauce splattered all over it in every crevice, then it ain't good enough. It's not good enough for me. The weirdest thing is you would of course think homophobic fries would be good, right? You hear, oh my God, there's a new homophobic fry. You'd be like, oh my God, these are gonna taste good, but they don't hit. So I think I'm gonna have to hit it and quit it. Chick-fil-A, you're up for elimination. Moving on, we have Burger King. Um, Burger King is sort of like a high school friend that you keep in touch with. You know they're there. You text each other on each other's birthdays, but that's about it. You never probably are gonna hang out, but you always say you will. You know, they're a good friend, but you just don't want them in your life. That's sort of how I feel with Burger King. So I don't have that many expectations for their fries. They are very thick and white, sort of like Iggy Azalea. Let's give it a try. Do I just taste a sweet flavor? These are good. Burger King has been in the game for a while. They've always, you know, been in the winner's circle. So, you know, they have it down. They have their fries down. They're good. So I am gonna put them next to the other winners, but I don't think they're gonna take home the crown. Probably not even be in the top three, but they're good. What's your review? Those are going with like, uh, Sonic for me. The best thing that can happen to a potato? Try again, but you, you can be in the winner's circle. All right, next up, we have good old McDonald's. I think McDonald's has always been the queen of fries. Everyone loves McDonald's fries. Everyone thinks of McDonald's fries when they think of fast food fries. <clears throat> They're iconic. We all ate them as children. They're really good. I love McDonald's fries. So I'm assuming these are gonna be good. Had them like a million times in my life. 
you. I'm just kidding, they're so good. Yeah, McDonald's just has a taste where it's so right. Like it's what all these other fries were trying to do. These Wendy's fries, like they tried it, but they just didn't get to the level that McDonald's did. McDonald's has it down. There's probably some weird, scary chemical in here that makes us like them and I'm okay with that. Obviously it's going in the winner's circle, but will it take home the crown? Stay tuned to find out. You wanna try one? Even though you already know what they taste like. Oh yeah. Jacob beats McDonald's every day. I had it last night. Um, yeah, they're good. You didn't seem that excited. Oh yeah, they just aren't as good as usual today. Yeah. Next up, we have Popeye's fries, which I'm assuming I've had maybe once? Popeyes doesn't give a shit. So you know how we've been talking about packaging? Popeyes kind of just said, yeah, F it. Just throw the fries in a bag. <laughs> Which I do have to say, like kind of a power move. They were just like, are we gonna waste more materials? Like people don't care that much about packaging. So they just threw them in the bag. They don't, maybe there actually is packaging for fries, but this, whoever bagged these fries was like, F it. I'm not putting them in the little canister. F all this, I'm throwing it in the bag. I don't care. And you know what? I respect it. The funniest thing is, um, there is a, <laughs> little bag in here, but somewhere along the way, they just gave up. They gave me way more fries than would have fit in here, so I, I think I won. But I don't really know anything about these fries, but they do look like they have more seasoning. I feel like they might bring something kind of unique to the table. Oh, so that's what we're doing. Oh, I feel like I've had these before. They taste so familiar. They taste like fried chicken in a way. I don't know how that happened, but they're good. They're unique. They aren't trying to be anyone else. They're embracing their individuality. They didn't try to compete with KFC and do, oh, I'm gonna be a crusty person like KFC. They didn't try to be McDonald's. They said, you know what? Let's just make Popeye's fries. Why are we trying to be someone else? There's only one Popeye's. Let's embrace that. So these are going in the winner's circle. These are good. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna try one, Jacob? This is all good. I know, like the seasoning hits. So we're kind of ending on a boring one, Arby's. No offense to Arby's. Actually, never mind. Now that I look at these, these fries are good. These curly fries. Arby's is known for their curly curls and they're good. But for some reason, when I saw the Arby's bag, I wasn't excited. Like I never think about Arby's. I literally never think of Arby's. It never crosses my mind. But the drive-thru was packed. So obviously some people like it. And Arby's was the drive-thru where the person had the bumper stickers that said like no gold digging and you can't be a dog be a puppy bitch or something like that. The car in front of us has a sticker on their back window that says no gold diggers allowed because they're that rich. They just know that people are gonna try to dig the gold out of their pockets. They also have another one that says, if you can't keep up with the big dogs, keep your puppy ass on the porch. But these fries are good. I've always liked Arby's fries. They're curly. They tried something different. Oh, they're good. It's like, look at that. That's one fry. Oh, it just keeps going. Look at that. Can McDonald's do that? No. These are good. You wanna take a bite at the strand? They kinda of just like B.O. today. Wait, they taste like B.O.? Like licking an old man's armpit type thing. You're ruining it for me, but they're still gonna go in the winner's circle. Arby's knows how to do it and I'm not gonna take it away from them. So this is where we're at right now in the competition. Wendy's, goodbye, nobody likes you. Um, Sonic, try again, it didn't work. Chick-fil-A, stop. You're nothing without your sauce. Without your sauce, you are dirt. Never talk to me again. They're all eliminated, get the F out. Get out, get out. Okay, so that leaves us with Arby's, Burger King, KFC, DQ, McDonald's, and Popeyes. We have a lot of decisions to make, but I'm just gonna follow my gut because they're in my gut right now. I can't believe Tyra Banks at one point did this with humans. Like she would just look at humans lined up and be like, yeah, I don't like your face, bye. Like that was what it was based on. But just glancing through this, Dairy Queen, sorry, I don't remember what you tasted like. I know you were like the first one I ate, but I know it wasn't anything special, we're done. Go with the losers. Also Burger King, like, <laughs> honestly, how did Burger King make it to this section? I think I was being nice. You don't win. You're not bad, but you stand no chance. You thought you could have won? Never. <laughs> not in this lifetime, Burger King. Go with the losers. Okay, I didn't think I would say this, but McDonald's, I love you. You'll always be that bitch, but are you the bitch? I don't think so. Pack up your bags. Go with the losers. Um, that leaves us with these. Arby's, bye. I looked at Arby's and immediately my mind went, get out. You're good, but do not deserve to be final two. 
So weirdly, the two fried chicken places are the only ones standing. So I don't know if there's something about a lot of fried chicken being fried in an environment that permeates into the potatoes, but these are our top two. Um, And in my next video that I'll upload in a week, I'll reveal who wins. <laughs> Just kidding, I'll, I'll let you guys know now. This is hard though. We have two people standing in front of us. They both have the goal of being the number one fast food fry. That's good, it's good. That also was good. They're both good in their own way. Wait. I got a weird taste from KFC. Oh. KFC wins. Popeyes is done. KFC is the winner. I didn't expect this. I am scared to publicly say this because I know for years, if someone disagrees with me, they'll hate me for this if I didn't pick their favorite one. And listen, I liked all the fries. If you're a Burger King girl and all you do is eat Burger King every day, we can still be friends because I didn't hate Burger King, okay? These are the winner. <laughs> All right, give it up for KFC. All right, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Thanks for giving me the idea. I'm glad that I got to try all these back to back. It was an experience of a lifetime. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video. Also subscribe to Jacob. Um, he helped me film this. And also, um, I um, do agree with your winning. You don't think Popeyes was better? No, I actually thought Popeyes tasted too much like chicken. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go. Bye.